Hey everyone, it's Alex here from Ninja Teacher and I'm coming at you with another update from Vietnam. So here in Da Nang, which has been the hotspot of the most recent outbreak of coronavirus in Vietnam, has now been 13 days with no new infections. So this is great news for Da Nang and the rest of the country. A few little updates of what's happened here in Da Nang with regards to the lockdown. This week restaurants were allowed to start delivering again here in Da Nang. So I've been ordering food uh, every day almost, which is great. And the beaches have not technically fully opened, but they have been allowing you to walk on the beach. So you're not really supposed to be swimming yet or doing any activities, but I have been going down to the beach and walking, which is also fantastic. And there was just a news article today saying that restaurants will fully open tomorrow as well as the beaches fully opening again tomorrow. So that would mean things are back to normal in Da Nang. And Da Nang has been the one place in the country where things have not been great. If you've been following my updates, you've seen that things are all right in the rest of the country. So actually another big piece of news is that all the bars and clubs and karaoke's in Ho Chi Minh City are now reopened. So you'll see that the Backpacker Street, Boy Vien Street, is now fully opened. It's called the Backpacker Street, but there's not really going to be many backpackers just yet. But it's been opened up for nightlife. And all-time coronavirus cases are just over 1,000 now. So this is all fantastic news. And of course, it means things are moving one step closer to the borders reopening and letting new teachers in, or those who want to arrive in Vietnam to become English teachers. So we're excited. And I think this is about the time that you can start planning for 2021. Of course, there aren't any set dates of when the borders are going to reopen, but I'm feeling confident that in 2021, the borders are going to allow people to arrive in Vietnam to start teaching English here. The key point though, is that the government announces these things last minute. They don't give any advance notice, like saying, oh, in three months time, the borders will be open. They'll say something like, okay, the borders are going to reopen on this date and it might be two weeks away. So I think now's the perfect time to start planning and getting everything prepared to move to Vietnam. There's quite a lot that you need to know and a lot that you need to prepare to get started teaching English in Vietnam. So Ninja Teacher, we are offering a free discovery call where you can schedule a time with myself or Miranda from the team and we'll chat to you about all the information that you might want to know about teaching English here in Vietnam. See if it's something that you'd like to do, answer any questions that you have and point you in the right direction for getting started with this whole process. So if you're interested in teaching English in Vietnam, I highly recommend scheduling a call with us and we can chat to you more about the opportunity and how to get started. This has been quite the year and I know people's plans have been thrown off completely this year. But I think it's a great opportunity to start thinking about what your plans are for next year. And personally, I'm excited. I think things are going to be very positive next year. I've got a few cool adventures planned in the next week or so. So I'll film some videos and share them with you. So stay tuned for those. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Click the bell button to get notified when we post these new videos. And give this video a like if you found it useful. Okay, I'll speak to you soon. Peace.